In this video, we're going to build upon the previous video where we were talking about laying out and editing a project. And now what we're going to do is add some effects to it. Uh, as far as the effects go, they're not going to be super duper intense or glamorous. And the reason I say that is because you don't want to overwhelm uh, your viewer or make them sick. So one of the things though that I'd like to draw your attention to first is if you recall from a previous video, while we were positioning everything in our editing options, we were working mainly in this media pool in the left or upper left hand corner. But right next to it, we have the effects. And you have an overall toolbox here with a bunch of different effect options. Now, just so that folks are aware, uh, the effects there are certain effects that you have to buy DaVinci. However, it has a lot of the core main effects such as the dissolves um, for cross dissolve, for instance, that we use very frequently with video. However, one thing I'd like to show first is also you have a bunch of titles available to you that you can use uh, to start off your project. So, I'll actually do that here. Let's take a look at some of these. So there's a basic title. Okay, I like this lower left third. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the selection tool and let's come down here and I'm going to give this a little bit of a bump over just so that I can click and drag and drop this lower third. There we go. Onto my timeline and I'm going to just kind of bump that video right up against it. Now, you may have to double click on the timeline to open up all the way on the right hand side your properties area here. So here you can see you've got a lot of options as far as the text is concerned. So I could maybe call this uh, maybe experiences and then for the bottom I'll call this like oceans of the world. Okay, so like if I come in now, let's go ahead and do a quick little preview here. Kind of goes right into our oceans there. Good stuff. Now, however, if you notice though, like if I go ahead and rewind and start playing here, one thing that happens, you see how abrupt that shift was there. So this is where the next element comes in as far as let's go back into our effects here. Maybe what we want to do instead is across these two elements here under video transitions, we want to maybe do a cross dissolve. So here you can see when you click and drag the cross dissolve, it's going to, it's really hard to see, and I'll zoom in here so you can see it, but you get a little pop-up that overlays your video there. And so let me go ahead and zoom in. You can kind of see it right there as far as the cross dissolve. So let's go ahead here, hit the play button again, and now watch what happens. See how you get that nice and smooth kind of tie together there, that you're not being as overwhelming to your user. You can get a lot done with cross dissolves, to be honest. Um, they are very much, uh, you know, kind of our common bread and butter here. An additive dissolve is more along the lines that if I come in, for instance, and there we go, at the end here of our piece, more of an ender type where it starts adding that in. I might actually want to pull this over just a little bit. So we'll actually kind of drag that. There we go. So you have that overlap. And you see how it kind of added that in for you there. Those are probably the two biggies that are going to take you very, very far. Like we have these iris, uh, you know, the triangle that you can just, if you want to preview these, all you have to do is come over into the transitions and just drag your cursor across them. There is a little bit of, you know, like barn door, for instance, um, that's practically PowerPoint. 
So we really keep our transitions and effects very subtle when we're making uh, video projects, but it can really just add just enough to make it very professional looking. And likewise too, at any point, if you say a couple of things, like number one, maybe you say, you know what, I don't wanna use this dissolve anymore. No problem. You, got, you can either delete it by hitting the delete key or notice now that you've opened that editing area, you can actually come up here and change the type of dissolve you want. So you could click on the drop down here and just switch it out. And you also have a lot of options here as far as how long do you want the dissolve to last for, uh, what is the ratios as far as the transition is concerned. So you can really get super nitty gritty as far as how you work with these transitions. But those are just some of the basics of being able to add a title and then make a nice smooth playthrough of your video pieces inside of DaVinci.